got a settings video for you guys. I know a couple people have been asking for it in the comments, so here we are. I'm going to try and go through this rather quickly, so if I'm going too fast, feel free to pause the video to focus on a specific thing. Uh, here's my mouse settings. I used to play on relative, play on legacy now, and for my ADS multipliers, I used to play on 0.8, but now I'm playing on 1. Also going over the recording, I forgot to mention that my DPI is 800, so uh, yeah, DPI 800. Uh, it's because I lowered my overall sense, but I'm trying to stick with these values. Um, for my movement, there's really nothing too crazy, I mean most of this stuff is default, and also if things are collapsed, I'll try my best to expand them. I think the one notable thing is that my jump is rebound to E. I mean, I still jump normally with spacebar, but I slide cancel using E. It's just the, uh, I don't know, it makes it easier for me. It's all preference. Um, for my weapon and equipment and stuff, I have my switch weapon minimum delay set to zero. So when I use my scroll wheel really fast, I'll probably give you guys like a, a clip here show you what it does it's it doesn't really do anything it's just sort of weird looking and i like to get a reaction out of people uh, nothing too crazy most of the stuff is pretty much default except my weapon expect or inspect For the uh, remaining tabs, I don't think they're too important. I don't think it's really what you guys care about, but I'll still cover them just uh, real quickly. But yeah, I've never really changed these settings, so I'm pretty sure you're safe just leaving them alone. Alright, for my general, I play on max FOV. My ADS field of view is affected. Uh, I used to play on independent, but now I switched to affected sort of like a month ago. It just makes it so that when you ADS, your FOV doesn't change too much, so that it doesn't zoom in. You can see, like, I can see a lot more. My field of vision is much higher in here. Um, if you're on console, I'm sorry for you, man. You got my you got my sympathy, dude. You can't... I don't think you can change the uh, FOV on console, which really sucks. Um, my brightness is 51. Yeah, I'm just going to keep... Keep blazing through this. And then for the graphics, essentially... Well, how about this? I play full screen borderless. It just makes it easier to alt tab. I don't know why, but for some reason my render resolution is really high. I think this is a bug. Because I guarantee you, I'm playing at 1920 by 1080. I just don't know why it's giving me this value. I think it's because of the full screen borderless. When I play on full screen, this goes back to 1980. But, I mean... I, it's definitely not that high in my resolution. It's definitely a bug. Um, for custom frame rate, I switch between unlimited to custom. I heard that when you go to custom and you limit your frame rate, it can increase performance, but I don't usually notice a difference. Um, for these settings, if it can be set to low, it's low. If it can be disabled, it's disabled. There are a few exceptions, like my texture filter anisotropic. It just gives you a clearer image. And I found that, like, when this is on low and normal, there really isn't a difference in performance. If you're really trying to squeeze every extra frame you can get, then put it on low. But I really don't think it'll make a difference. Uh, bullet impacts and sprays disabled. Um, it's pretty much all disabled. My cache spot shadows and my cache sun shadows are enabled. Because I actually think this helps with performance. Which is nice. And other than that, yeah, everything's pretty much lower disabled or off. For the motion blur, I have world motion blur off. Just because it's a clear image when you're moving around. It makes it easier to spot people. I have my weapon motion blur enabled. Just because I feel like it gives my gameplay this like illusion of smoothness, I guess. I don't know. I think it's nice. So I have it enabled. For... My audio, I play on boost high. I've experimented with every single audio option. Once again, it's all preference. 
but for me, boost high is where it's at. Everything else sounds a little too bassy. Sounds like I'm listening to my game through a very thick wall when I have it on other things. And I don't really like that. Sounds too bassy. Uh, I change my master volume a lot just because, you know, sometimes my hearing is better on one day and not so good on another. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy the settings if you try them out. I have one quick tip for you. It's worked for me. I don't know if it'll work for you guys. It's pretty much all I can say, but um, don't change your sensitivity too often. I used to have a really bad habit of changing my sense like almost daily. Um, I think that you would benefit if you stayed on a very similar sense. What I would recommend and what I do personally is uh, if I'm feeling a little slow, I'll raise my sense to like seven. If I'm feeling like uh, I don't have enough control, I'm moving a little too quickly, then I'll put it down to six. But I always try and stay within like this range. I feel like that helps a lot. And I've played on pretty much every sense imaginable, dude. I've played on a uh, like a 200 centimeter 360 all the way up to a 10 centimeter 360. And not, I didn't just try them out. Like I play, I played on those senses for for a while, and I just I feel more comfortable, or most comfortable with a 6.5. It gives you that speed, like that the, the high sense, but it's also pretty manageable in my opinion. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, all that jazz. I know you you guys hear that all the time, but uh, it does really help uh the channel grow and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to grow the channel so thank you guys i really appreciate all the support